Hello everyone. Welcome to Ortho Implants for Life. This week we will learn about femur interlocking nailing system. So, let's begin. Today we will discuss about femur interlocking nailing system. This is a femur interlocking nail. These nails are available in diameters of 8 mm, 9 mm, 10 mm, 11 mm and 12 mm. And it is available in different lengths as well, starting from 320 mm, 340 mm, 360 mm, 380 mm, 400 mm, 420 mm and at times in rare cases 440 mm as well. Next, we will require 4.9 mm locking bolts for fibre interlocking nail. These are provided with different lengths starting from 30 mm to 80 mm for femur interlocking nailing system. The reason why screws are provided in different lengths is because in the neck region, in general, smaller length interlocking bolts are required and in the condylar region, that is the distal end of the femur nail, longer length of interlocking bolts are required. Next end cap, available in two different sizes, 0 mm cap and 5 mm cap. These are the two end caps, 0 and 5. See, in case of 5 mm, this head is much larger than in the case of 0 mm. If the nail is inserted fully in the bone, then we will use the 5 mm cap. And if the nail is in the level of the cortex, we will use a 0 mm cap. Coming to the instruments, we will require three types of awl for the surgery. First, straight awl. Next, a curved awl. And lastly, a cannulated awl. As you can see, this part is cannulated. Next, we will require long guide wire, beaded. And normal long guide wire. Then we will require 4.5 mm solid screwdriver, 200 mm and one of 150 mm. One is long and one is short. Then T-handle chuck with key. Next, we will require slotted hammer. This straight rod is called extractor rod and this is the sliding hammer unit. We will require two types of spanner as well. 12 and 13 spanner for tightening up the conical bolt and 18 19 spanner to tighten extractor rod. We can also use box spanner. You can operate with this from any angle. Then we will require depth gauge. This depth gauge is specially used for nailing systems. 
this portion goes inside the sleeve and this portion takes a length that's why this type of depth gauges are used only for nailing system next protection sleeve and 4mm drill sleeve This is a trucker. Next tissue protector. Next stainment pin provided in the lengths of 3 mm, 3.5 mm, 4 mm and 4.5 mm. Two pieces of each size. For 4.9 mm locking bolt, we use 3.5 and 4 mm stainment pins. The 4.5 mm stainment pin is for reduction purpose. The 3 mm stainment pin can be used for interlocking bolt as well as to check the alignment of the nail and how deep it is inserted. Next, conical bolt. then we will require guide wire holding forceps then we will require medullary tube as we can see there is a pin here so that we can have visuals inside the medullary tube Next, proximal reamer. And finally, femur interlocking jig. That's all for the instrumentation. If you have enjoyed the video, like it, share it. If you are new to our channel, subscribe it. Hit the bell icon to get the notifications for our upcoming videos if you have any queries comment below and we will surely reply back if you want to know more about career prospects in orthopedic implant industry and wish to start a career in orthopedic implant industry please click the link below in the description box and dm us to know more thank you and see you in our next video